Have you guys heard that MVM isn't in the best state at the moment? Wow, I never would have guessed. If you're wondering why you haven't heard from me in a while, truth be told, that last video gave me serious burnout. Spending months on a project detailing the same old tired MVM dramas starts to wear you down, especially when the problems manifest in-game even more after publicizing them. More testimonies about what Bill and his Maribot cronies have been up to, more dickbags locking Coal Town missions on the last wave, and worst of all, a sharp increase in the amount of upgrade blocking bots though they do seem to come and go. This wasn't a potential outcome I was ignorant of, but in my opinion, if letting community villains bathe in their newfound notoriety eventually leads to their tools being chucked into the void, I think that's a worthwhile sacrifice. Problem is, the summer update is very close to release if rumors are to be believed. And at this point, I'm not confident enough noise has been made. So treat this video as kind of a signal boost. It's me asking you guys to send in your bug reports and or make threads in whatever channels you deem most appropriate. If we stay silent, there's just no hope that Valve will listen. And to provide a modicum of motivation, I'm down to sweeten the pot. More on that in a minute. If you want the full analysis as to why these glitches are problematic, go watch part 2. This'll just be a brief overview. To start, the Coal Town game locking glitch is quite the easy fix. If we take the word of Death Rowboat, it's literally changing a single line of code. I'm gonna leave that GitHub post in the description below. It contains virtually all the necessary information. For the kick vote system, what you might not know is that this issue of players being able to join back despite the player's will has actually been present for every single major update the game has received. It wasn't until 2019 where this bug was addressed and given a subsequent patch. In casual, Man vs. Machine didn't get the same treatment, so the flawed, antiquated vote kick properties used originally are the ones we're stuck with today. Given the amount of toxicity the game mode is known for, even back then, if anything, Man vs. Machine needed it first. The futility of vote kicks is responsible for almost all of the interpersonal drama that sparks among the player base. If you were simply able to vote out the troublemaker, all would go well. Whatever Valve did to fix the issue in casual, I'd say move it over to man vs. machine. The best deterrent for bad behavior are in-game consequences, and currently, they just don't exist. If my comment section is anything to go by, Maribot's been on the prowl, and Schwabel, the Tacobot member who aided Gentleman in his griefing efforts, actually received a golden frying pan a few days after the video went live. So if you had any theories regarding some kind of underground karma system pertaining to loot drops, well, I got bad news for you. And as for the upgrade prevention bots, this one has actually had quite the news cycle over the last month. In a similar vein to what happened during the Infinite Money glitch era, there has been a sizable uptick in the amount of bots latching onto players' accounts. Bot after bot after bot after bot with nothing but gibberish names and vacant profiles. In the midst of this newfound invasion, a workaround was actually discovered. By playing Hot Potato with the leadership role, the bot would eventually get stuck in limbo. Temporarily, at least. This fix was unfortunately very short-lived, and the bots now automatically reroute back onto your account. Whereas before, I assume it had to have been done manually, and that time gap was where the momentary freedom came from. It's actually kinda nuts. I've heard testimonies from a couple of streamers who have been strapped with half a dozen bots at the same time. Again, I remind you, one bot alone is enough to make the game unplayable. Anything more than that is just a personalized fuck you. Currently, they're able to do that with no recourse. Moreover, something popped up in my home feed that only further emboldened me to make this video. Jerma recently discussed ending his hibernation from playing TF2, actively desiring to play it on stream. More specifically, Man vs. Machine. For reference, according to TwitchTracker.com, the last time Jerma streamed the game was way back in 2017, before Jungle Inferno even came out. But let's face it, we all know how this is gonna go. Three viewer streamers get hit with the bots. Charity streams get hit with the bots. All it takes is one person who feels like being a dick, and you're out of commission until they deem otherwise. Whatever Valve thought worked last time in removing the bug out of the game, it was wholly unsuccessful. 
But there was an attempt made, and just like the general toxicity issue plaguing the game mode, this proves it is, or at least has been, on their radar as well. A similar issue happened with the spectator exploit a while back. The patch note stated that the glitch had been resolved, only for that to end up being completely false and only further popularized its nefarious usage. We eventually got a happy ending to that story. When patch number two came in three months later, the exploit was actually removed. I just hope the same thing happens for this one as well. A patch has been provided on GitHub, which, while it doesn't fix the bots being able to latch onto your account, does make it so that the upgrade station doesn't close upon sending false invites. Link in the description for this one as well. I also previously talked a bit about Pyro's air blast mechanics being out of whack, and while I do still support reverting them to the pre-Jungle Inferno standard, it's small potatoes compared to the other three bugs. If wasting resources on this one means the other glitch glitches might not get patched, I'd opt to leave it out. Look, I know by talking about this on a public platform, I'm giving the exploiters exactly what they want. Attention. But that is the exact same variable that leads to glitches landing on the butcher's block in the first place. Attention. Man vs. Machine is the one mode in the game where bots are a conduit for fun instead of frustration. And for my own experience, as well as yours, let's hope it stays that way. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to keep banging the same drum over and over and over again. I still have dozens of ideas left in the tank for MBM content. You know how many are about drama? None. I'd like to avoid it if I could. As mentioned earlier, I'm willing to sweeten the pot if it means upping our odds. So, uh, what do you guys want? Australian giveaways? Face reveal? Some esoteric shit I'd never come up with on my own? If the bugs are fixed within the update's timeframe, I'll fulfill the demands. Usually bigger updates with a lot of content come in with a couple subsequent minor patches as well. So if by some chance the summer update doesn't fix these bugs, don't tap out. We still have many more opportunities to pry for a fix mere days afterwards. We just have to keep talking. And with that, expect July and August to be much more content-rich. Strength in numbers, guys. That's all I gotta say. See ya.